My name is Aaron Johnson. I'm the chairman of the Economic Development Corporation. I'm serving that capacity as a volunteer. We have no paid staff currently right now. My uh, um, day job is uh, with Grant Rock Company. I'm a vice president there, and I've been there for uh, 21 years. Uh, Grant Rock Company, if you don't know, has been in our community 119 years. Um, we're happy to live, work, and play here, so it's important to us to have a um, healthy, thriving community. Um, now is a real good opportunity to advance economic development in the county. Um, we've uh, had past efforts to economic <coughs> development and different funding sources have come, Lax and Wayne, um, but we are at a point right now where there is a chance for the city council to double their money with an investment, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. And I think you have an opportunity to grow that money even more by increasing revenues, tax dollars, and spending in the community and investment in the community. Um, we need to build staff for the EDC so that we can be sustained and we can aggressively pursue a five-year plan that we've been spoking. Uh, we know that um, economic development is a team sport. There is a, uh, a coalition of economic development agencies that are meeting regularly, and we are working together very well. You'll, you'll appreciate my presentation that there'll be an ask for money for um, the EDC, and we're also supporting the ask for the chamber who will present next. It's a package, it's not one or the other. It's a, 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 a collaborative process. Um, the collaborating organizations are listed there on your PowerPoint, and um, I'm, uh, in the interest of time, I won't read those all off to you, but we have, uh, we're meeting monthly, and we have been for, for a good a period of time. We've defined our roles, and we're making sure that we amplify people's messages and we don't detract from each other's um, roles, which we've also defined. Um, we, some of you have participated in some of the comprehensive economic development strategies that we've undertaken in the past uh, couple years. Uh, many people in the community did. Um, we have um, the county's general plan, which has a fiscal element that also outlines some unfunded and um, economic development um, activities. And um, I think you'll see um, when we hear from more of the public after my presentation, I think the other groups are ready and eager to get this going. Um, what we're proposing here today is funding for five years um, to get the investment and, um, and a momentum into real economic growth. Um, it's going to make it possible that we can do team building. It's going to make it possible that we clarify roles and responsibilities, and we keep them clarified. Um, and we have a unified county message that we all can speak to and point to. Um, uh, we need to um, advocate for a good business climate, and only with a good message can we do that to grow and retain our businesses and attract new businesses. So the, um, you will have your packet, and in your packet, on the left-hand side of the packet, you don't need to reach for it now and read through it, but is a, a, um, a role description for a, a full-time economic developer um, person. And if you do feel compelled to thumb through it while I'm talking, there's also a five-year plan of likely activities that we would um, task that executive director with prioritizing and ranking um, in there. Um, but um, I'll talk to a couple priority um, of those Accepted. What's it cost? We're estimating it's going to be about $200,000 a year. It's about $110,000 for a staff position, $30,000 for benefits, and $60,000 for program development. That would include bringing in um, expertise of grant writers and um, 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 maybe um, some other technical experts to um, talk about a little bit. Um, I think we can, with that, we will get our common five year plan that the whole county. Uh, cities um, and, um, can agree on and support. Um, we can coordinate our efforts much better there, um, and we can also tap additional resources, um, as we have been doing, um, just with volunteer staff and doing some contract work, and I'll talk a little bit about yeah. that. Our outcomes is we're, we want to retain our industries that are here, our businesses are here, we want to grow them, uh, we want to help, um, help them um, grow, because if you're not growing as a business, you're dying as a business. And we want to recruit, recruit new businesses, and we want to recruit the right businesses for San Bernardino County and the city of Hollister, because it's not all. The businesses don't always work in um, all communities, so we want to make sure we identify and attract the right businesses. 
and we want to bring more visitors and support other organizations with tourism. And you'll hear about the change of various efforts um, here with the San Juan Committee and Center. Right now, with some of the seed money that we've received from um, 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 the um, tentative seed money we've received from the county of uh, San Diego County, um, they uh, were um, we'll, well, we will start with the business attraction plan. Um, the wine trail and visitation, that's what the San Juan Committee and the Chamber is working on. Broadband um, is a grant that we're looking to get right now. We've got our SEDS, our Comprehension Economic Development Strategy, that lets us go after USDA funding. And there is rural broadband uh, grants that are available that we're looking at and pursuing. We've already started talking with our office. There's the government shut down and like, delayed a couple trains. Um, but we would like to amplify the rural broadband as well as the uh, local broadband efforts that the city is actually been pretty progressive in pursuing in the past. Um, and then we want to start looking at some some co-working space opportunities. There's some good some people at the city of um, or the Monterey Bay, uh, Bay Unit, Monterey Bay CSUMB. Um, there's a gentleman over there that's been looking at incubator space and co-working space there. We have people that leave mm -hmm. our community every day to commute out of it to go do work somewhere else. We want those people back in our community and that's probably gonna be a, a first and hard initial focus because we could keep those people in the community, we could spend the money here, and they're not on the road, which I think is a uh, congestion we're all trying to alleviate. That was pretty fast because it's a little late for me, but I would like to uh, entertain uh, questions uh, from the council. Uh, 